Hey everyone, what's up? It's Maya, and today we're gonna to be talking spring inspiration. We're gonna pull up Pinterest, basically build a board together, talk about spring style and trends and all the things to do with the upcoming months. Um, if you're interested in that, keep on watching and let's get right into the video. Now tuned into the greatest. So spring is giving me pastels, it's giving me ribbons, it's giving me all the trends we've already kind of seen. I just bleached my eyebrows again and I feel like it goes into the spring vibe very well. Again, we're giving coquette, it's more ballet core, it's more soft, it's more pinks and browns and just like neutrals. I love layering, that is really cool. I, I feel like a lot of the trends right now are like ruffles and tulle and lace and really really cutesy things i feel like spring for me also of course means flowers and so it's almost like what would you wear to a picnic or in a meadow with flowers Okay, so here is my spring 23 board. Um, you guys just saw I added a bunch of these things right now, but I'm still into this ballet core coquette soft style, but I'm kind of realizing I'm either giving that or I'm giving street style. And I feel like that's just because with dance and like taking class and teaching, I'm always like in hoodies and sweatshirts and coats and like layering and things like that. So I like that kind of masculine vibe. But then when I'm dressing for fun, if I have a masculine vibe, it's more like a button down like this with some pearls, um, just kind of balancing out. Or it's my slip skirts and linen skirts and my tights and my leg warmers. And I feel like since I bleached my brows again, I just feel powerful in like combining the soft with like the grunge and things like that. So this is giving spring but obviously it's my style. So let's kind of go through and talk about what I've pinned to my board. Okay, so a lot of this like see-through mesh or tights vibe, a lot of skirts, um, a lot of like nightgown wear. Of course, we're gonna keep up with the bows, um, little sweaters, and then pairing them with shorts like this outfit. I feel like it's just so precious. All this. Moving on, we have some denim. I love a baggy denim moment. When you're talking about denim, when it comes to like the bigger fashion world, you'll see that it's trending right now um, in a different way than we'd like think it was. We have bows. Again, we have the sheer. We have the bloomer vibe. It's still around for spring. Um, I love just kind of makeup looks with you no know, eyebrows. So then, you know, I can have some inspiration, but like the blush with like a dark or brown I look, uh, I feel like it's such a good pairing. Um, again, so here's like an example of a more masculine outfit, but it's very simple. And we have the layering going on there, which I think is really, really cool. Um, moving on, more layering. This is actually incredible. I would die to find a dress like this. So I'm looking out, but just like the sheer match with the denim and the boots, giving very like cool girl. Um, again, more of the sheer and layering again i think it's so so cool but um i think the reason why it doesn't feel so heavy is because the lace part of it or the see-through part of it just pairing it with jeans it's so sick so so sick um but yeah this is the pinterest right now and that is just kind of my vibe and what i will be styling coming up soon and with that styling video also just like outfits i've been wearing recently so stay tuned for that Okay, now we're gonna browse a couple of the fashion websites and kind of take a look at spring 2023 trends and see what I like personally and what maybe I'm gonna be adopting into my own style and what I think is just not cool or bullshit. So Vogue, we'll start with Vogue. So far, I'm loving the color palettes. Excuse me, no pop-ups. I hate sequins, so I wonder... Mm. Okay, they're saying perfectly imperfect. I don't know what that means, but... So far, I like the long cotton skirt. Uh, 
blazers become cinched. Uh, I mean, I love a blazer, but I do love a boxy blazer. I don't know. Moto inspired. Definitely have been talking about that for so long. Leather in general. Yes, I feel that. I'm not loving these boots with the buckles, but like I understand where they're going from. Bold color bottoms. Um, honestly, I hate all these dress pants, but whatever. Bright white footwear. Um, no, don't like, don't, I don't really see that. I don't think I have one pair of white shoes. I don't really like that for some reason. Statement earrings. Okay. I mean, these are cool. I love the gold. And they're not too, like, cheesy, I feel like. Neoclassic. What does that mean? Oh, this is kind of cool. Braid silk jersey dress. What the hell? Okay, but I hate those leather sandals. <laughs> and detailed denim. That skirt is really cool. Saxton. That's fun. The braiding. But honestly, it's kind of giving Forever 21. If you know what I mean. Modern boho. Okay, I feel like that makes sense with all the crochet things happening. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. The tailored look. Okay, I mean, I was kind of talking about that with like button downs and things like that. Vogue, I've had enough. Let's let's go to a different one. Who, what, where? Fashion trends, 21 approved looks. Ooh, there's Bella in the iconic moment at that fashion show. <laughs> Super sick. Basic has always been looked at as like a bad or negative term, but I feel like it doesn't have to be. And um, this is like a good example of that. Ooh, like she looks very cool. Heavy metal. Metallic actually is really trendy right now. Um, I have like metal crossbody bag and I think it's really cool. Um, Lenny Ozark talks about metal all the time. She loves it and anything she says, mm, of course I just have to agree with. Um, I don't like gold metallic. I definitely like the silver more. Denim, again, more of this denim vibe. I'm into it. I mean, denim can never go wrong. Like I have so many denim pants um, and jeans. I love them. Big bag energy. I mean, I'm here for it. I love big bag. Cobweb weaves. Yes, I'm into all of this. I remember it was just talking about this. He was talking about like, um, the sweater that he had that he wanted to style for the spring, which is exactly the same vibe, but I think we didn't really know how to say what it was. So cobweb weave, interesting. Key lime, okay. I mean, green, you can never really go wrong, but key lime color is very interesting. Um, oh, this is the flower detail, more than a corsage. Yeah, just really big flower necklaces and pendants and details on your tops and I just love that. What is this? Whatever this is, I'm not into. All a blurred and like tie-dye? Uh, I don't know, for some reason that's not my my thing. Okay, elevated indie, I'm like getting bored. Trousers every way, okay. Whites. Yes, I'm very into the whites and creams and things like that. Okay, so those are kind of the trends. So out of those trends, I'm really liking the cobweb weaves. I'm really liking the metallic. I'm really liking the whites. Um, I'm loving the denims. And so in my styling video, I will be showing you some of those examples for sure. Um, but trends at the end of the day, like you don't have to follow them. These are just what the fashion people are predicting or seeing on the runways or whatever the case is. Um, but yeah, spring is so exciting and I am just like obsessed.